uh, welcome to this week's video. Thank you so much for joining me uh, again. Um, this week's gonna be a little short video. I wanna introduce a new series and I'm gonna call it Apps That I Love. And this week I'm focusing on an app called Movie Pass. So this past weekend, uh, Black Panther came out, which is an awesome movie. So if you haven't seen it yet, um, I've seen it twice personally, that's how good it was. I've never done that before, I literally went back to back two days after each other to go see the movie. So if you haven't seen it yet, jump on it. It's that good. So this week I'm reviewing my first app, which is Movie Pass. This app allows you to watch a movie a day for a subscription of $9.95 a month. That is crazy. If you live in New York, you know it's often the choice of do I want to pay rent or do I want to watch a movie? And so you're going to pay rent because that's how expensive movies are in New York. But you don't have to do that anymore. You can pay the subscription and then you get to watch a movie a day. It's really super simple. So um, they send you this little MasterCard, which is what you'll be using to purchase your tickets. And then you work through the app once you've downloaded it and register your account on it. For the rest of the video, I will then show you um, on my phone exactly how the app looks and the interface, and how that works. So um, let's jump right in. Okay, so I am now at the cinema and I'm trying to watch a movie. And so I need to check in on my movie pass app. So I just go into my phone. Um, I'm using the Android version today. I'll open up Movie Pass. Now, Movie Pass has recently gone through an update, so the new user interface is actually really great. You'll see new releases. You can just swipe through and find out more about those videos. Um, so now playing, and the top box office hits at the current moment. Um, interesting, Black Panther is not like, I guess it's not chronological, but these are the current hits that it's uh, showing Black Panther is there. There it is. Um, and then coming soon as well. Um, so. Yeah, so you can go according to the movie that you're looking for and then maybe find out what theater it's playing at. Or you can already be at the theater like I am right now and um, go to the map. Um, as you can see, there's so many cinemas around me in my area, in like the tri-state area, let's call it, that support movie pass. So, uh, let's see, I am now in Union Square. So, in this scenario, I would then uh, just tap on the cinema that I'm at. I'm at this one over here. Really Union Square, it just zoomed out, but anyway. Um, it will then show me all of the movies that are playing currently over here. So, um, I may have mentioned this in the beginning, but the reason that some of these say screening is not supported by Movie Pass is because 3D and IMAX type movies cost a lot more than a standard 2D movie, and the amount that gets loaded on your MasterCard at the end is around approximately $18, and um, basically 3Ds and IMAX movies are more expensive than that. However, I have found out that if you take your card and you purchase your ticket from the box office as opposed to from the kiosk, um, you will be able to just pay off the difference as opposed to just not being able to use the movie pass card at all. So that's a little um, trick that I've learned. Um, so yeah, so if ever you try to use your movie pass card on a more expensive movie, um, don't buy it at the kiosk self-service, buy it from the box office directly. Um, okay, so let's just say um, I'm in the mood to see. Hmm, let's see. Let's say game night. I'm in the mood to see game night. Okay, so uh, I just hit check in. And that's it. Literally, that's it. Um, my card has now been loaded with money, and I walk up to the kiosk, swipe my card, and purchase my ticket. Or I go directly to the box office and do the same. Um, and I'm done. And if all the, all the directions are on there, so if I get asked for a zip code, that's the zip code that I have to provide. But other than that, that's it. And this is why I love Movie Pass. Yeah, so as you can see, super easy to use, um, really great app, uh, and if you want to watch more movies, uh, catch up on Oscar season, things like that, um, this is for you. So that is Movie Pass in a nutshell. I hope you liked this week's video. If you did, give this video a thumbs up, also a comment. Let me know what kind of videos you want to see in the future. Um, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and let all your friends know about it. Um, I will see you next week. Thank you so much for joining me.